Virgo, how you doing? It's Dharma here to do your reading for you. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers. Anybody that feels called to the sign. My readings tend to last from reading to reading as far as timing goes. And I use a lot of different outlets to get the message across. All right. What do we have coming in hot for Virgo? Ooh. Wheel of Fortune. Somebody has opened up this situation and looked at the mechanics of it and how it works and all of the intertwinings and really been for a long time. And now they're ready to Well, look at how she's looking. They're coming in hot. They're going to... This is the King of Wands, but this, this is the Wheel of Fortune, but I feel like she's the Wheel of Fortune. If you were... She does, like, a, up close, it just looks like she's fancy or whatever. She's got a big dress on. But if you were to examine closer, it turns out that she has a lot of desirable... I don't know facets about her and it's time that this one takes a move or runs forward or does something ten of pentacles and the six of cups so it feels like What's interesting now as I'm looking at these two images together is that this feminine is looking at a memory that is not, she's by herself in this image. This masculine is remembering here a memory as well, but he's sitting by himself. And so what is this? Their, the return, it's time. It's time for them to come back together because they are the only ones that they can see this with. They're the only ones that it works with. But I feel like communication is a problem. Maybe one is, I mean, the Page of Cups is always a fish in a cup, but suddenly I feel like somebody feels not smaller, but that it's, it could be that one person has a big head. <laughs> but the her they might be, oh, the hermit and the high priestess. They do have a giant head. It's in outer space. Whoever this one is, this feminine here, because I'm seeing all feminine energy with the Wheel of Fortune and all this and that. They're like a master manifester. They might be a queen of air. It might be have air and fire in their chart. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the two of pentacles talks about a choice. It talks about juggling. It talks about trying to make two new starts work at the same time. Now I did see the queen of air and the queen of wands. I saw that. But it's like having to these two aren't confused. Yeah, the Hierophant. This is the soul contract, this one. But remember how I said that these two need to learn how to talk to each other, okay? There it is. It's, 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 there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of guardedness. There's a lot of coming and going and leaving and staying and doing whatever but they there's something about this particular feminine that can make this particular masculine <laughs> feel like a million dollars she can make him roar she can make him Like they come to her when they're down, when they're injured. 
And then you have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Star. Well, there's some indication here because look at both of these images of this particular Six of Cups. It's the feminine by herself, like longing. They don't necessarily look healthy. It's, it's missing this. It's wanting this. And this one here just is sitting and taking their time. Now the, the Seven of Swords is strategy and the star is supposed to be healing, but it's, they, I, I don't know. I feel like she lets them in. She does. But I kind of want to be like, why? Because only because the Seven of Swords is there. Let's get some clarifiers now. Because uh, we just went down a bunch of different roads of nope. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Make sure all the cards are seen. Why are these two coming together right now? What is it about the feminine there that's... She's the... They want to protect her. Man. Okay, this longing and desire is not one-sided by any means. They just express it differently, very differently. The lovers. So we might have a Libra involved, but this is about some kind of justice. What's the justice that, what's the balance that needs to happen? Secrets need to come out. Secrets need to come out. It's time. What's the secret? Why are they rushing to tell the secret? What's the secret that needs to come out? Chariot. On target, careful aim. Weigh the options, decide somebody has to, look at all this, running to go talk to this one. Careful aim, on target. What's the archer? I mean, yeah, it's the matchmaker. It's like they can't do anything until they talk to this one. The albatross keeps coming out. Secrets came out. All of this stuff happened and now they need to go. What is the Seven of Swords? They're probably going to invite you over. They want to, they want to, they're going to be like, I, someone's like, I moved. <laughs> Come, whatever. Queen of Air. There, that's the one that they want to go see. That's this one. So she's really smart. And this has already been established. This isn't new. That's why it's Six of Cups anyways. Right? I keep getting the magnets, the magnets, the magnets, the magnets. They long for each other. They yearn for each other. Okay, so why is there this knowing that it's time right now? Because somebody's giving someone else the silent treatment.
It almost feels like there, there's this like, it's like spidey senses, okay? Like knowing that somebody else is gonna step in or something like that. And so they, they just come forward, right? Let's see. Why is there this, like, I feel like they're coming in hot, like they're bracing for a fight. Somebody was nervous, like they didn't want to because they figured that there was going to be this, like, because they did something. There it is again. What did they do? I think this is the reason why they're not together and also the secret that came out. Look at how they're looking. <clears throat> Both people, look at this. She put a mask on to the Seven of Swords. Every image of this, she's looking down like she doesn't even, I don't even, what, what does she consider the Seven of Swords? She let it go, just let it go because she's extremely loyal to this one. And I think that this one is a little bit obsessed with that one. It just keeps getting better over time. And also worse when they are drinking. I want to talk about all of this change. There's all of this change that has happened, will happen, did happen. It's like they're coming in expecting a fight. But they don't, they not, it's like nothing happens. At all. Let's just reconcile. They, because <laughs> both people are like yearning and longing and thinking and whatever. And they don't, they just, they just want to move forward. If they, if it, I don't think that it, I see what I'm saying. There's all this like secret and strategy and blah, but what it really boils down to it is these two people just desire each other. Six of Cups, double Six of Cups style. It's like no matter what, the universe keeps, it might even be Mercury and Retrograde that's bringing them back together because they, they needed to have alone time away from each other to get some insight on things. And now it's time to get things going, see? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right, so they do, I mean, <clears throat> it's the Hierophant, the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like if you expect a fight that leads to nothing, okay, because both people feel like that. What's the outcome for this uh, couple, please, for the week? The Bear. Jupiter. You guys are just going to, it's like you just, this is this is a cycle that I don't necessarily know that you're going to get out of anytime soon Virgo it is something that your soul needs to work on or heal, heal from it's, that's why it's all of this it's a deep 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 layered old soul contract between you two and it's exactly the same and it causes you both to feel the same way but it's the same it's a cycle 
it's yearning, it's yearning, it's yearning, it's loud, it's explosive. When you get back together, there's the healing. And then boom, seven of swords. You guys hurt each other or cut it off or whatever. Now, what is it? Is it actually cutting it off or is it just that it's so, yeah, look at that. I think people need to look at this differently. When there is a separation, both people feel it, even if it's like, it, it feels like even if you don't, I mean, it's a little bit obsessive, yes, but it's, well, it's like they stop breathing when they're not around each other, but they don't communicate very well. Look at all of this. You, this is my point. You can stay away from this person if you wanted to. And that's, I mean, there's years and years and years. Look at all these layers of lifetimes that you have left to live with this person. Or years in this. <laughs> I want to be like, you're not going to be standing alone. If you're alone right now, you're not going to be standing alone for very long because this person is coming in to like hoard your ass. But there's some kind of pattern and cycle that you both keep going through that deals with being silent that destroys both of you for whatever reason that you just can't stop doing all right let me see if there's any other I mean it's definitely a soul contract for sure let me get the twin flame deck out Um, cyclical thing that's going to be kept being learned over and over again. Please, with much gratitude. What's the thing that's going to keep getting learned over and over again? The tower. Divine intervention. I don't know why everyone's trying to run from each other because no matter what, the universe keeps breaking this thing into fragments and you guys keep getting redirected back to each other. Queen of Swords. Look at, look at, that's the same thing. With all of the workings and the mechanisms and the clockwork. King of Wands. Oh my God, it's the same cards. Nine of Cups and Strength. Look at him. Look at his fucking face. This is a mad lion. It's just that simple. <laughs> I'm trying to like overcomplicate this. I'm like, what's the thing you keep learning about each other over and over and over again? <clears throat> you guys light each other up. You, when the, your guys, they you might not even have anything to do with each other. Like as far as, um, um, like jobs go, like this one might work with her mind. Okay. And this one works with their hands or whatever, they build things, whatever. And you keep, whenever the energy gets near each other, all of these gears turn on and all of this cool stuff happens and this one here can make pure alchemy. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, you give each other strength, but it's very, very, the energy is really intense. What is the um, outcome, please, for Virgo? <laughs> the Emperor. Okay, that's the other thing. Is the need to run and then they come back and then they run and then they come back. And I think that that's the other thing that they're gonna, and it's because of this. 
this energy is so big every time they get around it they freak out but i mean are they ever going to get used to it because that's twin flame type talk is this masculine that keeps running are they ever going to get used to scarcity mindset oh yes she was the queen of swords eventually like maybe you might have like five more breakups or something like that and then you get the ten of pentacles because they're gonna there's gonna be enough cycles of karmic review or what have you for this masculine to go through to finally understand that this thing is kept they don't have to i think that they have a probably a fear of yes the energy is huge yes the energy is whatever but i also think that they probably have like abandonment issues or something like that and so when they feel something that big they need to run away wheel of fortune oh my god and so that is probably a soul contract that they have together you know to keep coming back together to try to I mean it's twin flame type stuff it's beautiful so you can expect for this week at least if anything you're just gonna you're gonna be having interactions with this person okay that's all I have for you Virgo